Only a few months ago, world famous woman, Dylan Mulvaney single-handedly destroyed Bud Light. It went from America's number one beer brand to losing half a billion dollars in market share and now is only consumed by big man babies. And that is a scientific fact. Ladies and gentlemen, you'd probably think if you were a company and you saw what happened to Bud Light, you'd try and avoid that. Well, not if you dove, not if you make soap, not dove. They wouldn't do that. They'd lean into it because they're idiots. They've seen everyone who goes woke going broke and they thought, oh, let's do that. Let's not only did they just go woke, they decide, well they've already gone woke, they're very woke, we'll get to that. But they decided to go with someone to represent their brand who is arguably much worse than Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan Mulvaney's not even that bad. Dylan's just like, just a pain in the ass. But the person they went with to represent their brand is not a nice human, it would seem. But before we get into that, ladies and gentlemen, and let me tell you, this story's gonna blow your mind. This video is brought to you by the great people at Sheath. Ladies and gentlemen, Sheath makes the best boxer briefs I have ever worn in my entire existence on this earth. I'm wearing them right now. They are absolutely impeccable, perfect, and wonderful. If you're sick of boxers that are too tight, that are too short, that are just wrong, then Sheath is for you. Let me tell you that immediately. In fact, every time you hear from me in these videos, I'm wearing Sheath underpants. Get that image in your head. Mm. Very nice. It's the only underwear I own. I urge you to try it, ladies and gentlemen. I know you're probably thinking, oh, oh, why? Why, Butterfield? I'm telling you, try it just once. Just try it and I guarantee you, it will change your life. Their stretchy fabric is made out of moisture wicking technology. They're super soft and cool and they keep everything comfortable and right in place. The most unique thing about sheath underwear is that they have these dual pouches that keep your man parts separated, which prevents things sticking together. And on top of that, it also makes your bits and bobs look at least a foot bigger. All right, I put them on before and I showed my wife, yeah? And she for once respected me. I couldn't believe it. I was skeptical of the jewel pouches, but I love them. I wouldn't have it any other way. But if you don't want to wear them, you don't have to. You just wear them like normal underpants. Don't even worry about them, but you'll worry about them. Plus they have brand new materials like bamboo and mesh for even more cooling comfort. Ladies and gentlemen, go to sheathunderwear.com to get the most comfortable underwear you will absolutely ever own. If you use this code word as well, this promo code, you will also get 20% off. I urge you to try Sheath. It's very, very good. And they're a lovely sponsor of this channel. Now, back to the video. Welcome back to the video, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into it. Dove partners with Black Lives Matter activists to promote fat, Liberation. <laughs> you losers. And this is after she was accused of getting a white student wrongly expelled. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you the very large and in charge 22 year old Zahana, Zahana Bryant. Pitch it here. Zahana is what I would call a professional victim. They make their entire existence, both, you know, personally and business-wise, about being a victim. That's how they make money, that's how they make friends, that's how they get clout on the internet, if you will. She fights hard for people like her. I'm not talking about black people, no, no, no. I'm talking about fat people. You see, she is part and probably the leader of the fat liberation. Army and what she does, much like guerrilla warfare, is she sneaks into the world that's created by skinny white fucking straight men and makes it a safe place for big fat people. She does, she makes it a better place. And I, you know, from the outset, it does seem like a nice thing to do. Make the world nice for fat people. I don't know how you do that. I guess global warming is the, you know, the natural enemy of the fat person. I know it, I'm a little bit overweight and uh, you know, I just went to America. Of course I'm coming back overweight. Jesus fucking Christ, you people eat some shit. I certainly did. My shits haven't been the same since I got back. Anyway, uh, what I'm saying is when it gets hot, it's bad for people who are overweight. Why? Because they start to form these little terrariums under their breasts. If you don't know what a terrarium is, I'm pretty sure it's a little glass jar that has its own environment like fog and rain and little animals and that's what I'm talking 
talking about between the breasts. Both male and female breasts. Because all breasts are created equally and men can have babies, you fucking idiots. Anyway, that was a bit weird. Uh, now, let's see the sponsorship that she had with Dove Soap. My belief is that we should be centering the voices and experiences of the most marginalized people and communities at all times. So when I think about what fat liberation looks like to me, it looks like centering the voices and the experiences of those who live in and who maneuver through spaces and institutions. I am by no means a speech pathologist, but I do believe with all of my heart that if she lost some weight, she would stop talking with such a list because her tongue would be smaller and she would be able to be understood better. Just putting it out there. Of those who live in and who maneuver through spaces and institutions. I don't think that fat people should go to space. That's my thought on that. It would seem the message from the Fat Liberation Army is very simple. Their demands are so simple. Uh, they just want you, the person at home, to be aware of them. We're aware. We're aware. We see you. You better believe we fucking see you. We at the Fat Liberation Army want to be visible. How much more visible can a person be? You are mountainous. If you are mountainous, you are visible. Fat liberation looks like fully embracing those differences and having those conversations instead of shying away from them. To learn more about fat liberation and the campaign for size freedom that Dove is supporting, visit dove.com forward slash size freedom. Tap in, join the campaign, support the campaign. This is important and we should all be talking about it. And ladies and gentlemen, you better fucking believe we're heading straight to dove.com <laughs> forward slash BBW. Okay, welcome to Dove. Let's have a bit of a look down here. Kids online safety. That's interesting because of what she uh, allegedly did to that white lady, even though she's not a kid. A uh, hair discrimination in the workplace. Oh, well, together we can end appearance hate. Fighting against body discrimination. Now that's where we need to be, ladies and gentlemen. Let's click on that. Supporting the movement to end body discrimination. Oh yeah, everyone deserves care, love and respect. Everyone. Everyone deserves care, love and respect at every size. Yet body discrimination is legal in 48 states. Okay, well if you're a fucking, if you're a police officer and you're 4,000 kilos, you probably shouldn't get the job, just saying. We join forces with the National Association to Advance Fat Acceptance, NAFA. How about NAF the fuck off, you fucking chubby devils. And Fat Legal Advocacy Rights and Education Project, or FLAIR. I got a flair for eating too much. Project to strengthen legal protection against body size discrimination and shift cultural conversations around the broader, <laughs> broader uh, definition of beauty through education, advocacy, and social responsibility. Sign the fucking petition, you cockheads. I added that last bit. Ooh, our research. Body size discrimination has a devastating impact on body confidence in all areas of life. 90% of women living in larger bodies and 88% of girls, 10 to 17, have experienced body size discrimination. Wow, no one gives a flying fuck. They're very woke, Dove. That is the honest truth about them. I mean, this is from their UK website, which I thought was absolutely just delightful. Dove's Arms Up series, perfect pits don't exist. We're basically, they want you to keep your armpits fresh, but grow your fucking hair. Ooh, Dove's Arms Up series. Ooh, look at this. Like show up some delicious underarms with some moles under there. You can, do oh, isn't this just important? This is important. Forget fucking Russia and the Ukraine. This is what we need to be fighting for. Hairy chicks, they need respect. Girls out there, if you're hairy and you're watching this, I doubt it. But let me ask you this question. Why are you so gross? Mm, shave your pits or get the fuck off this channel. Mm. Okay, so they got a fat lady promoting the brand. Who gives a shit? Companies do this all the time to basically virtue signal that everyone's included so they can make more profit. That's all they're doing, mind you. Uh, you need to understand that. If you disagree with anything that I say, just understand and just take that on board that they don't give a fuck about you. They're just trying to make money, okay? Do you understand that now? Good. But what's crazy is Zahari, whatever fucking name is, the lady involved, she's not a nice person. And that's why people actually have an issue with this. They don't care about the fat lady being involved with the brand. As I said, brands do that all the time. But it turns out she's not a nice person whatsoever. Not only did she want to defund the police and then she called the cops on the Daily Mail for a polite interview request, which is just hilarious. And I just like to add on top of that, 
the areas I went to in the US recently that had defunded the police are the worst places on earth. So don't defund the police or crime will increase. Who would have thought? Point being, don't listen to this chick. But the reason that people really don't like her is she tried to get someone cancelled for a reason that was ridiculous and that person probably had their life ruined and she may very well be to blame for that. All of that was through trying to cancel someone, allegedly, allegedly, etc. You see, Zahira, I don't know a fucking name, she tried to get someone cancelled, allegedly, after at a Black Lives Matter rally, she misheard her say something that she found offensive and then she just went, fuck you, I'm gonna fucking run your name through the mud and I'm gonna try and break you down and destroy you. Gorlock the Destroyer 2.0 got so mad at this lady that she wanted her life ruined, allegedly. Please show that photo of her again. Thank you. Even though Bryant has been praised for her work with Black Lives Matter and getting the Robert E. Lee statue taken down in Charlottesville, yes, evil statues, you win again, Mrs. Bryant, well done. She's also come under fire in recent months for her efforts to get a white student named Morgan Bettinger getting her suspended from campus. She claimed that Bettinger referred to the Black Lives Matter's protesters as good speed bumps in the summer of 2020 only to later admit that she may have misheard her. So she admits that she may have misheard her, maybe Bettinger didn't actually say that, but at the time she got so mad that she tried to ruin this lady's life. A real human tried to ruin her life because of something she misheard. Now she's the fucking face of Dove. That's why people have an issue with this if you weren't catching on. The incident uh, occurred in July 2020 when Bettinger mistakenly drove down a street where a Black Lives Matter protest had gathered. Now this is a crazy story. Basically, Bessiger, just some random fucking woman at a university, uh, drives down a street, there's a big protest there, and there's this big truck blocking the uh, flow of traffic. Now Bettinger goes over and talks to the truck driver at this point, and that's when apparently this Zahari Bryant, and I'm deliberately fucking with her name because she's not a nice person, it would seem. So fuck being polite to her. Where apparently she goes over to the truck driver and in her defense, this is what she said, that she said to the truck driver at the time, it's good that you're here, otherwise all of these protesters might be speed humps or speed bumps. Basically meaning that someone might run over them. But Bryant overhears that part of the conversation and tweets that she said that the protesters would make good speed bumps. And that's when the shit hit the fan. The tweet was quickly shared more than a thousand times and internet sleuths soon identified the driver as Bettinger. And she, Bettinger even had to call the police for help. And what made matters worse is she had pro-police social media posts on her social media, mainly because her late father was a cop. All these fucking Black Lives Matters and socialist people freak the fuck out because police are evil and all this type of shit, which we all know is garbage. It just so happens that some police officers are bad people, like some firefighters are bad people and some people who work at McDonald's are bad people. Just because you're in the police force doesn't make you a bad person. It's because you're a human and some humans are pieces of shit. Idiots. Anyway, it got more hectic after that. Just one day later, Bryant began demanding that the school administrators expel Bettinger. Email these UVA deans now to demand that Morgan face consequences for her actions and that the UVA stop graduating racists. So not only is she demanding that that person be expelled, but she's naming her as a racist. That seems a pretty defamatory thing to say. Bryant herself filed a complaint with the University Judiciary Committee a student-run disciplinary committee alleging Benninger had threatened students' health and safety. It sounds like the human rights fucking thing that I'm dealing with. Just a group of fuckwits. Bryant also filed a complaint. Fuck, she's busy filing complaints with the school's Office of Equal Opportunity and Civil Rights in which she claimed that Benninger had repeated her statement five times and had discriminated against her due to her race. Sounds like you're full of shit, mate. You'd be a great person to work at Dove. I'd like to say that if this was a white lady saying these things, Things or, or any other race really, a Japanese lady saying these things, what appears to be complete lies and fabrications, any other company would get rid of her, but I guarantee you Bryant won't lose her spot. Why? Because people are terrified 
They're fucking terrified and they will do anything in their power, even if it means falling on their own sword, just to not appear that they're not woke enough. The EOCR office, whatever that means, found that three of the five accusations could not be corroborated and a report found Bryant most likely did not hear Benedict's comment because she was in line at a local McDonald's at the time. That's not in there, I added that. Uh, Benedict's comments firsthand and no eyewitnesses were able to corroborate her version of events. LOL. Another investigation essentially reversed the verdict, concluded that no eyewitnesses could corroborate the story, and Bryant admitted that she may have misheard these alleged threats. Worth ruining someone's life over, or at least attempting to? Sure. You misheard something. Let's fucking run this poor person through the fucking gravel. I see people get cancelled all the time. People have tried to do it to me. I'm uncancelled though, so fucking... Come at me, bitches. But it seems like this Zahara lady uh, is nothing more than someone who is desperate for attention and she gets attention by making other people's lives worse. That's what she does. And that's not a good way to live your life. And it's probably not a good person to have as a sponsor for your fucking product, dove. She doesn't want to work a real job, she just wants to complain for a living and fucking act like a victim. What a worthless life that is. But, ladies and gentlemen, all of this is just my opinion. Maybe Dove made a great decision by bringing on this proud and brave person onto their books. Well done, Dove. Oh, actually, I've just received a, uh, an email from Zahara and she uh, wanted to let me know that she's very upset. Not with me, uh, she's upset with the fact that it's uh, Dove Soap that sponsored her and not Dove Chocolate, hilarious. Ladies and gentlemen, fuck her, fuck Dove, be a good motherfucker, peace of the Middle East, mid extincts. Uh, come and see me live, I'm in doing all these dates all over, uh, not all over Australia, there's about five or six shows uh, before I tour the country next year, so come and see me live. Toodaloo, au revoir, bye bye.